Kern County Sheriff's Office, how can I help you? The job itself is rewarding with the, the people that you come in contact with because you're taking calls from people that at that moment are desperate and uh, sometimes, you know, the worst part of their life. That's why they're calling 911 and you are their contact. You apply online. Uh, from that point, you'll do a test at our county headquarters. It's just kind of a little computer test. You answer a few questions, and based on your ranking from there, then you'll go and do an in-person interview. You'll be placed on a list, and at that point, you'll do another interview, uh, actually at our sheriff's headquarters, um, or here at the communication center with uh, communication center staff, and hopefully you'll be hired. Our hiring process is um, very similar to the deputy hiring process. We do a full background and we really want to make sure that the people that are in our communication center are vetted and they understand fully what is expected of them to do this job. Unfortunately, that does kind of take a long time. It does take on average about six months. There was pay, there was the days that we work, the um, days off in the week time are appealing and then also definitely the ability to move up in advance. There are collateral assignments that give you the opportunity to do other things outside of just being here in the office, um, such as tactical dispatch, being able to go out and work with our SWAT team. It pays good, you have insurance, you have a retirement, and it's, it's a good job. We work with good people. I've been um, in the communication center for 13 years, and that time I've been a dispatcher a senior dispatcher and now I'm just finishing my first year as a supervisor so there there is a lot of progression in our job. They've already spoken to you okay so you're just following up right now? It is constant. We are the main PSAP for Kern County so when a person dials 911 it comes into our dispatch center and if they need medical aid we're going to get that call first and we filter the calls for the fire department so we ask them a few questions as to why medical aid is needed just to make sure there's been no criminal activity and law enforcement doesn't need to respond. Knowing at the end of the day that you, you know, were there for the citizens when they needed them, you're there for the deputies that need you that are out on the street patrolling um, and just being able to help everyone during that day. They are basically our eye in the sky. Um, a lot of us like to call them our guardian angels because they are looking over us, you know, not only with our GPS coordinates, they could see us on the map, but they also, um, they're, they're, they're looking out for us in terms of uh, they, they know what we are looking for before we get to the call, when we get to the call. Admins. You have to be calm, cool, and collected. And uh, the dispatchers up here, they never lose their cool. Uh, they are able to talk people off of a cliff, uh, theoretically. You know, they're able to talk people down, they're able to bring people up, they're able to provide the resources necessary to, to do, for us to do our jobs. Uh, and they can do that all, all without even seeing the person uh, face to face. So what they, what they do is amazing on a day, a day in day out basis. I've been here for 17 years, so I've taken almost every call you can imagine, but maybe one that sticks out in my mind, I took a call from a 10 year old uh, boy who was homesick and his parents were at work and three men were breaking into his home and he is in the closet and so I stayed on the phone with him um, and kept him calm and reassured him that help was coming and stayed on the phone with him until we got there and, and luckily we were able to apprehend both or all three of the suspects. I would encourage anyone who wants to help the community and you know, be a strong voice behind that 911 call to apply. You definitely have to be a strong person, but being care caring and motivated, um, eager to help and eager to work is extremely important. I think definitely someone who enjoys a fast paced environment, um, who is able to multitask. We do need people who are free thinkers, are unfortunately or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, our job is not black and white. We do have lots of areas of gray, and so you have to really be able to think on your feet and kind of look outside the box. Sometimes we have crazy random things that happen, like a 7.0 earthquake or the SpaceX crash in Mojave, so we don't 
normally train people on how to um, handle a rocket ship crashing in your backyard, but it, sometimes it happens. So um, you definitely have to be able to be a fast paced person, think on your feet and um, be able to handle some of the crazy things that we have to deal with because unfortunately that's part of the job, but it is a very rewarding thing to do and I would highly recommend anyone who's interested to come and do a sit along to really see what it is we do day to day.